Hey guys, this is Doug from Displaced Media. I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial today on how to create a mesh that picks random target points and moves to those points. I've already added a camera here that kind of blends our player controller into that camera looking over the scene. And I downloaded a model off of, of Turbo Squid just to use as a filler. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create target points for our mesh to move to. We're going to put it in the middle of the scene. Give it a quick height of 100, and we're going to add a tag on there just in case you have a bunch of different um, enemies within your scene. This tutorial is good for games such as side-scrollers or uh, top-down games. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our mesh to a blueprint. We'll call it ship BP. And once it's in there, you always want to make sure that your mesh is facing the positive x-axis. That way, if you use something like the forward vector, uh, your ship is facing the right direction. So let me just flip my mesh around 180. There we go. And once we get into our blueprint graph, first thing we're going to do is we're going to try to find all the target points. So event begin play, get all actors of class, and it'll be that target point blueprint class. You can create custom classes if you feel you need to. And drag out from the out actors, promote to variable, and this will give us our list of all the target points in our scene. So rename that to target array. <clears throat> And let's quickly copy and paste the target point a few times so that it has a few different ones to pick from. Alright, now if you want to filter it out using those tags, like I said, if you have a bunch of different enemies that will have different sets of targets, you can drag out from here. We can do a for each loop. And drag out from the array element, we'll type in has tag. And we'll have to just type in that tag that we put on the target points. Create a branch so that all the target points that have that tag will be added to the array. So if that's true, we'll do add to array, connect our array element get our array, and there we go. Once this little loop here is finished, we're going to select a current target point. So we'll create a variable, uh, have it be an actor class, rename it to be current target point, or current, current target. And we're gonna set that out here. Now to get a random target, we're going to start with our array. We're going to get the last index, which will let the game know how many targets are in the array. We do get, attach that to the current target. And then for this part, we'll do random integer in range. And we'll connect this together. And that should give us a random target point in that list. Now the next portion will be to add the forward movement to our blueprint. So we're going to get our event tick. Drag out there. Set the actor rotation and location. Alright, so for giving it forward movement, what we'll do is we'll get the actor's current location. And we're going to add it to the direction that it's facing. Now to get that value of the direction that's facing, it's called the forward vector. So get actor forward vector. And to give it a little bit of speed, we'll just multiply it by a float, like uh, let's say five.
And this will give us a nice moving speed forward. Now to set the rotation, what we're going to do is we're going to do an R interp, which will give us a nice smooth rotation instead of instantaneously rotating to whatever direction the target is facing. So we'll add our time variable. Interp speed, how fast it rotates, we'll also set that to 5. And you get the actor's current rotation. Now we need to get it to look at the target point. So to do that, we will do, use something called the look, find a look at rotation. And the start point will be the spaceship's current location. So we'll get actor location. And the target will, of course, be our current target. So we'll get the current location of that. Uncheck context sensitive. And get actor location. Compile that. Now if we add our blueprint into the scene here, rotate it around. And we'll also give it a height of 100. Now from here, it should pick a random point and go to there. Now right now, what it's doing is it's picking one point and it's just continuously going for that. So what we need to do is once it gets within a certain distance, we need to have it select a new position or a new target. So we're going to drag out. We're going to do distance to. And while the target be self, the other actor is our current target, and we'll create a branch so that if it's within a certain distance, it'll grab a new target. So we'll do less than, let's say, 75 for now. You might have to adjust it depending on the scale of your scene. And then we'll just copy and paste our get random target from our event begin, connect that to the branch, and let's see if that works. There we go. So right now we might you might want to adjust the uh, speed and the interpolation of the rotation, but it picks random targets and goes to those. So that doesn't look too bad, but I'm going to spread out our target points just a little bit. And this should be our end product. Alright, well, if you have more questions or want to see more tutorials, we should be posting more in the next couple weeks. You can visit our Twitter at twitter.com slash displacemedia or our website displacemedia.com. Thank you.